game Let's Play Soft First Impressions. Today we're playing Death and Recoil. sheltered from the outside world, I dove inward, becoming obsessed with whatever I could find online. She lived with our mother, and from what I gathered, it was a warm life. That alone was enough to chew on. But I stopped getting texts from her a year ago. Ouch. What's happened? You trying to make a fool out of me, too? First, that woman. Now, everyone else! I'll kill you! My drunken father picked up a hatchet from the That's floor nice. and approached nice me. Drink. So, this is contempt. A look communicated without a single shred of love. I was going to be killed by my father. I don't care. Not anymore. I wouldn't have to suffer anymore. So it's fine. I wouldn't have to stuff anything in my mouth. I had one parting wish. I wanted to visit Enigma, a place I had only seen online. Why, Richard, why are you stream? Huh? Can't even look me in the eye. You're a dirty whore of a daughter. Two girls born to a shitty mother. No surprise they're both shitty, too, huh? You don't belong here. You're both shit! Stop it. Huh? That was the final stroke. Oh, shit! Get off me! What the? Let me up! Hey, what are you trying to pull, you bitch? Karma and science. Lifting the hatchet in my 
Self-defense. Days after the incident, I was alone. No one was around to care for me. I was dehydrated, on the verge of death. If not for the social worker who discovered me, I would have died. It seemed one of my poor neighbors heard my desperate screams and reported it to the authorities. Only then was I found. Although there was no denying I killed my father. Based on the circumstances, the court saw what I did as an act of self-defense. I was ordered to undergo counseling for three months. Afterwards, I was dismissed from the facility, absolved of my sins. Not that it made the consequences any easier. That man's final moments will haunt me forever. When I close my eyes, I relive the moment. I pray every day for his ghost to leave me. The air was thick with fog, making it difficult to see anything from the distance in this old town. I sat in the back of the black town car, which was stopped in front of a tall, curly building in the center of town. Surrounding the town was a lush smattering of trees and a vast lake. I felt a warm breeze brush against my cheek as I exited the car. If I squinted hard enough, I could make out mountains standing atop the horizon to the north of town. There was misty here year-round. Some think Glacier is cursed. Could be the eternal mist. Or it could be the creepy aura permeating throughout. This may seem like a silly question, but... For the sake of formality, I'll ask. Are you Mai Toyama? That's right. I am Mai Toyama. Okay, verified. Mai, from today on, Wordsworth will be your new home. What happened with your father? I mean, that man was a terrible incident. You did nothing wrong, so please don't worry. Mai, you're so strong. You did what you had to. You're allowed to be happy. Thank you. Now, let's head inside. Headmistress Midra awaits you. Welcome, Ma. I am Midra, headmistress to Wordsworth, the all-girls dormitory. Hello. All-girls dormitory? Personally. I find orphanage to be an unsavory signifier. Our institution prides itself as an academy and a dorm together. There is no distinction between students with or without family. Indeed. 
Point well taken. Mitra, as I mentioned to you before, this girl here has had something of a tough year. She's moving on well, and she's honest. Let's be sure to give her a big Wordsworth welcome and celebrate her enrollment. Welcome, Ma. We've had many girls like you overcome their childhoods by working hard and supporting one another in harmony. Trust in our staff. Invest in yourself. Find your wings, little butterfly, and soon you'll take flight in this world on your own. Women who triumph over all odds are the ones who make a difference. I have many high hopes for you, Ma. In any case, for what reason did you choose our remote town and our esteemed dorm to further your education? I was the one who reached out to her after my requested to come here. Because I heard Sanaya was here. Please let me see her. Sanaya? She's my little sister. She's here, right? Let me see her. Easy, My, no. Please calm down. Hurry, what are you doing? I'm telling you to take me to her. Can you chill and relax? Mai? Okay, Mai. Calm, Calm down. down. Take, Take a deep, deep breath. breath. I'm missing out to a year. When Mai's parents divorced, they decided the following. Each one took her son over here. That Mai's father would take Mai, and that her mother would take Sanai. The two girls lived apart since the split. Because of her father's passing, we attempted to locate her mother to see if Mai could be reunited with her family. After some investigation, we learned that her mother had passed as well. It was her mother's wish for Sanaye to be sent to Wordsworth, or so it says on her dossier. Which explains why Mai, too, had requested to be transferred here. God has presented you with such fearsome challenges because he knew you were tenacious enough to overcome them. Coming in. There must be some mix-up of your documents. Sanaye Toyama does not exist in our records. She never has. Okay, that's very suspicious. What? Calm yourself, Mai. It is unladylike to let yourself become flustered. No doubt your travels have been long. Go on to your room and rest. Not helping, I'm very suspicious. We will assess the situation with Sanaye tomorrow. So they say. Please, I assure you that I will assist her in reviewing our records once more. Thank you. Hello there! Ma'am, I'll be the one to carry your bags. Oh, salutations, Mai. Allow me to introduce myself as the head maid. Here to help everyone in our dorm. My name is Headmate Shizu. Shizu Malonis. Nice to meet you. Sure. Um, we're into the hall. Drop my things on the floor without changing out of my clothes. Collapse onto my bed. Window ground for the force of the draft. The worst the winter is yet to come, at least not a roof on my head in the bed. see virus is coming must be a warning but kind of vague not the key to close it hang on the next generation sorry so I have such a word of time for yourself I was going to ask you we have you someday we have to be safe before that it's been so long 
to my charisma, who now go out of their way to do my bidding. <laughs> Sounds stupid. What? You <laughs> say something? I'm right. Say, do any of you know a girl named Sanaya? I'm the one asking questions here. <laughs> I don't know. Never heard of her. Oh, Idiots! Don't answer her! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Hey, you girl. I've got some trash that needs dumping. Why don't you do it for me? That's not 
my job. Oh, is that sass I detect? Someone wants to take a dip. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> How's your bladder doing? <laughs> Come on! Get it! <laughs> Lock her in the stall from the outside. <laughs> really? I still didn't hear her. <laughs> How's that for you? Go ahead and piss if you want. I'm all ears. Why bother doing all of this? Because <laughs> it's fun. Duh. Fun for you, super tardies. What a brat. Why isn't she crying? She's been too. Make her cry. Ladies, how about we dump the bucket on her? Whoa, that's cruel. <laughs> Here's some dirty mop water. Hope you're thirsty, mine. Are you gonna beg for mercy? Okay, time's up. <laughs> you're real stubborn. Speak up. Did that break you? Hope you know now who the law is around here. Wow! All this effort and not a peep from her! Darling, yeah. Because we got place to be. Hey! Better not underestimate me again. I may look sweet, but I'm very sour. You're not the worst of all. <laughs> look at you. So pathetic you couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Seriously. You know, I even killed a pigeon that our class kept as a pet. Ooh! There were blood and guts everywhere. Everyone cried like a bunch of babies. <laughs> Listen up, Mai. Get me mad enough and I could do the same to a person. I'm not like he. Is that so? <laughs> scaredy cat! She's a scaredy cat! Think you could kill me? Do you really? What's your problem? Don't get any closer! Could you kill me? What is your problem? Take my advice. Your bite. Better live up to your bark. Otherwise, you'll look like a moron. They are morons. You're not getting away with this. You two. Let's take her outside and pin her to the ground. Maybe we'll have to cut off those pretty locks of hers. Hey! Get the cry, baby! Do it! <laughs> Do it! Cut her ears while you're at it! It's almost breakfast time. Do you think the teachers might catch us? Who cares? This rut pisses me off. You're making a mistake. Time to chop off that beautiful head of hair. I won't stop even if you bet. Stop! I have sentenced you to execution. There's no turning back now. I said stop! Said no. <gasps> oh, now she can scream! <laughs> Serves her right. Okay, everyone. Say bye-bye to my hair. <laughs> She's kind of crazy. There it is! That's what I've been waiting for! Yeah! Hey! Uh, Mina, you're at it again! You better stop or I'll tell my mother! It's Roddy! Crap! Let's get out of here. Oh, yes, our friends do do it. Those brats. I'm trying to get right away. This happens a lot, I see, with the newcomers, I suppose. Are you okay? Here, take my handkerchief. They always bully the new girl. They're jerks. I understand. Oh, the handkerchief won't be enough. Let me walk you to the showers. Come with me. Name's Rotten. Rotten Dollheart. You can call me Rotty, though. Let's be friends. What's a name for a girl? Oh? Thank you, I guess. But I'm fine alone. I should have handled it myself. What? <laughs> She's not just cute, strong too.
Don't shop. No, I shop in the shower. Clean the building. Look at the cafeteria. Here at Wordsworth, the headmistress, the faculty, and the students all eat together. You must be the new girl. I'm Abigail Williams. I'm the resident advisor around here. I suppose in a regular school, my role would be something akin to a class president. If you ever need anything, I'd be happy to advise. Nice to meet you. You look right as rain, my. Your soap smells lovely. Mind if I sit here? I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> Lord, we are thankful from the bottom of our hearts for this bountiful feast. El Strain, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. El Strain! El Strain! Lord, I thank you. It's a religion followed by everyone in town. With this undying love, we are guided and protected from evil. You didn't eat dinner last night. You must be starving. Want my egg? No. I have a small Oh, that's no good. Sure, you got curves, but I saw your ribs under your shirt earlier. The girl's got to eat. That's not too good either. You don't have to change overnight, but make sure to eat, okay? You watched me earlier? Oh, uh, I didn't watch your shower. Right. If you know how to your ribs. And your curves. Whatever. Seems like you two have met. We're meeting to do community service in town after this. Eat up, or you'll be sorry. In town? Oh, sounds to me like you're going to sweep up around the church. You'd better work hard so you don't tarnish Wordsworth's name. Sarah, no need to be so stern with her before you even met. <clears throat> Abigail, you're going too easy on her. You are setting her up for failure, which is just going to hurt her in the long run. Very well. My, this is Sarah Putnam, one of my very best friends. She's not afraid to speak her mind, but she's kind, I promise. Hopefully you two can become friends. Who cares? No one can stand in my way. Once we get into town, I'll find a nice ditch to push her into. That'll teach her. Oh, good one. Great idea. Maybe she'll even break a bone. Okay, everyone. Please join me in putting our hands together. Many thanks for this meal. Many thanks for this meal. Gather round. It is time to commence community service. 
site only exists thanks to the kindness and donations of our townspeople. So please show your gratitude by working hard for our community. Pair up with your roommates, everyone. around the teachings of this church. It brings people together. There's a lot of love here. I see. I'm not a religious person. Can't say it does anything to me. Uh, I suggest you have a listen to one of the bishop's sermons sometime. How strange is not a faith of judgment. It lifts people up in their darkest hour. I can't recommend it enough. That's so. I'll give it some thought. Hey, what's with the shed? Huh? It's not much of a shed. There seemed to be no Oh, is that what you were looking at? It's been there a while, but it's got no doors or windows. Kind of strange. Some girls at Wordsworth call it the Forbidden Shed. There are all sorts of scary rumors going around. I don't know. I don't buy into urban legends or stories about their cult. Same. Ooh, are you scared? Did I just find your weakness? 
What you gonna do if there's a ghost inside the shed? <laughs> Shut up. I know That's another funny. out there. I'm afraid. Just annoyed. <laughs> Only kidding. Hmm. Truthfully, I think it's just an old warehouse no one uses anymore. Sometimes she shines new shirts. My, my. I was wondering where all that commotion came from. Greetings, Rotten. Oh, Bishop! Hello! Bishop's head had a piece of her face, but not her voice. I could tell him one the woman. Oh, you must be mine. I've gotten word that, as of yesterday, you are Wordsworth's newest resident. Yes, that's right. I'm the bishop. I serve as head of the church. I heard you had something of a rough time. You can say that. I'm I'm just relieved that you are alive. Hmm? Wait. Your son says you're From now on, your life is here. Yeah. That is enough. Survive. Sometimes all we have is a sliver of hope, but it is enough to carry us to the happiness we deserve. Let your spirit guide you to the future. I am grateful for your dignity. Um, is this typical? Is it emotional? Do bishops normally cry openly like this? <laughs> Dear me, forgive me. My, our trials and tribulations are all granted by El Strain. I admire your perseverance. Making yourself at home here can be challenging. Should you ever find yourself in trouble, my door is open. <laughs> what? Why are you crying? I'm glad I met you too! Bishop, is there anything we could help you with? Well, might I be able to ask you to assist me in acquiring a new holy neckcloth? <sighs> Headmistress Major's fabric is intricately woven. Sewing, coloring, <sighs> I love it. Uh, okay, uh, I'll let my mother know. We'll keep tidying up the church and head back. Okay. Thank you again. Thank you again. <sighs> Isn't she wonderful? She's so kind. She's like my second mom. Yeah, well, she seemed warm. She wasn't a man. It's neat to see a woman with a position of power in the church. Seems uncommon. In El Strain, your gender and your marital status don't disqualify you from working in the Holy Order. But in the past, the clergy was only comprised of men. And they're still the majority. I see. Is that why she doesn't show her face? Yep. There are still some people who judge a woman for serving as bishop. How dumb. The bishop shouldn't let critics bother her. She should be proud to show her face. Oh. Have you warmed up to her? How sweet. No. I don't need you to weigh in. It's insulting. <laughs> I'm just excited. Wouldn't you be if your friend warmed up to someone you like? Who's saying about friendship? Okay, okay. Let's head back. I went alongside several of the students inside of the cafeteria. Just a bit. There are ghosts here. 
Wait, what? Ghosts? It's already... 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 It's very mysterious. I go so the chari. The chara. I go to witness in person crazy stuff. Supposedly the country is as good as dead. By the way, I'm a Kodo. I never thanks. I never seen it myself. Just heard rumors. Okay. Why does that ghost? I'm going to go to the girls and I'm going to go to the stories. I'm going to go to the girls and I'm going to go She was out watching after me. This girl can be a pain. Aww. It's going to go to me and say that there's like standing up here and it's true. No, I don't know how I'm so serious with you now. No, I need to get my cold shoulder early on. Alright, let's go out of here. Time I'm a pair. It'll, it'll take time for this to warm up. I'm going to see my father, Victoria Mercado. I have got to say, I'm going to be able to get a party on it. Probably on the counter is beaming. This is Sean. Not together. I'm going to bed. Sean and I are going to fall asleep. I'll be back in shower home to bed at night. She'll shower later in the morning. I'm going to shower. Yeah, yeah, I don't try it. She'll show on her own. Show on her own. I'm going to be a big one. I'm That makes sense. Oh, look who's here. Sure, Miss Crimson is my weird ugly face once more. You're scared, aren't you? No. Just took out the trash this morning. How's the garbage duty in the fourth for you? <laughs> Someone's snarky. It was tough. And he sneers, sitting on the stock sheet, not picking up it. Don't answer her. I'm just coming in. Why do you have to. Why are you even hang out with her if you're gonna be like that? Well, it's a funny story. Guess you gotta, really, gotta feel real pain. Or else I'm never gonna get it, huh? New girl? I'm a switchblade. I'll kill you, do I? You know, you have a death wish? That would be easier, I would have. Come on, everyone. I wouldn't recommend that. You're gonna cry if you want me to stop, bang. You tell me didn't stop. I'd rather not hurt you. Unfazed by an iron rifle. I'm to it to Vina. Yeah, she's seen death in the face. She probably aren't just scared as night as I'm terrified her. She killed him, and I fear she killed him more than I fear dying. Yeah, the other one is got a few scones in your closet. How are you trying to make this again? Probably was just about to into the shower. The tower after the other day, I thought she just got out of the shower. I blocked his knife in my hand to prevent him from seeing it. Get out. And sh Vina shoved the knife back into her pocket right in the middle of the wall. These are so cool, you just made the devil society say this. Devil society? Wow, that's a stupid name. Whatever they call themselves, stormed down the hallway. You okay, my was Vinny holding out. She didn't do anything, finishing it. She finished out really quick, huh? No worries, I even saw how I rushed out the house. How in the world did she do that? She went back in the cafeteria. She was like trying to get close for some reason. Uh, there was something sincere in her eyes. She should have been listening to her motive, so she seemed. Now you're here, let's head to her room. Oh, you can try my hair on your back. Fine. You will? Don't get too deep into it. I mean, she has my hand. Yeah. You never learn, do you? I guess I should have a curfew. You yeah, were at that, right? You little thing, so. I had to pee, should have peed earlier. Oh, midnight. Next to the side, empty hallway. Uh oh, creepy. 
shadowy apparition. I hope it's not like a dead persona or something. What is that? There's no expression. Creepy like a shadow spirit. Like a shadow spirit. Okay, so symbolize those strings of our protection when only wrote to them. Which upside down. Wow. That was creepy. Dark shadow. Glide across the ground, trying to do a taste. Well, time at its finest. Whoa. And she did. Sunai! Sunai! Oh, Nightmare around the same time. I really feel like my sister. I stretch my eyes and put my feet to the floor. Insomnia. Where are you, Sunai? So worried? I asked every minute of it. I don't see I don't know. Why did they leave me? What did I do to make a memory? I need your girl. What is she doing? Is she scared? She ring? Is she call out for me? The more I obsess about it, the more I'm up here. I'm in the shake. Calm down, just relax. I shoot to the next part of the reason. Every reason I've lost in that one year ago. The last message still beating back in that. Barbus. Who is this Barbus? I saw a girl in the room. Around the room, it was still dark out. I glanced at the clock, just past midnight. It's the lady went to bed too early. And some the end is finest. Hmm. I was in the summer. Such a slob at times. That's, That's very nice, sir. I think babysitting is very nice to turn Only one time thing. I know who I'm going to get in the Instead of the bus I grab. I could my time with bus at the window. Hmm. She so noticed it too. A scream and the shaw spirit. The sound of my girl in the sand. But I noticed my girl screaming as she fell down the alleyway. Follow her behind the terrifying silhouette, a blind shadow sat on my ground in pursuit. That's Fina, what's she doing? And who's that behind her? Her voice chased her mother. And I said, I hurry up with my eyes to her machine, but strange she's not cold. Peaceful and glad I felt some kind of turn around with my mother with my own. Here we go. But then there was a warning. No venturing outside the rooms after midnight. To heck with it. I'm breaking the curfew right now and couldn't let things set. Besides, something special about this place. There's a secret. We're gonna find out. <laughs> she nerd tree clothes. Falling cover, maybe leading to where Sunny is. Case of emergency, a weapon, nice. <laughs> I looked left and right, confirmed, confirming that no one else was awake. It seemed like all the girls in the maze were asleep for now. Faceless ghost always the hallway every night. Could that have been the same Shazra and Venus saw? The Phantom of the Char Chara. What was that shouting as a ghost? I was shouting ghost. I mean, she can't fight it. Or can we? When I sh couldn't shoot the side of Vina. Can't leave her like that. Even if she's a jerk. She can't reach the murderer. Grab my hatch, tiny tiptoe in the stairs, like the entrance. And search of Vina.
and a lot later on as well. To be the monsters for a time throughout the story. Good luck.
Left into her fate. Wow. Whoops. I threw on her and I was passing with his green and the his green in the morning and the bird shook us down and I hadn't slept at all. Whoa. I feel like I screwed up. Oh, that's a good thing. 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 What's the matter? I'm not back in there, I'm just gonna sleep. Why not? I'm gonna tell you what I'm not back in there. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm not back in there. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm not back in there. It's not a nightmare. It figures I don't know how it's a good true or just a dream. And something like the sun eye. I'm calling Bill for breaking a curfew and sleeping out of there. I'm just gonna walk the time to lie. Couldn't sleep much. So now he's in a mom and the homemates and he didn't know her. Mm. If only we knew we'd see the class roster. Where is it? Oh, scared me. Easy, my. I hear a dark house somewhere in town. Since so is our confidential record. We can't just waltz in. I mean, don't even know where they kept. Sorry. It was worth the hint to know. Ryan. Where is. How's Vinny? Vina? So they had to be in my son for a while. Oh, look, she did. You heard about Dina? Wait, what? I wanted to deliver the news when you woke up, but she went missing last night. Oh boy, that ain't good. Her made pick. 
high. Notice that she stepped outside some of the night. Oh yeah, she's dead. Furniture is unlocked too, so someone's over in the middle of the night. It had to be her. Uh oh. So you tell me she's not dead. I'll be here for a night and drink the last night. I love my head in a slumps. So she is dead. I banned her in the middle of the middle of the night. I banned her in the middle of the room. She was being chased. Yeah, you did. Not that I not that I blame you. Are you okay, Am I want to rest I'll tell you that no. I get up. That's the the more. Oh, I got two areas to go to. I think I'll stop it here. Gonna save the data. Chimed in. This has been Hoeing Kilman 92. If you enjoy my content, please give me a follow. And thank you for hosting, slash watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.